welcome to Mythtastic. In today's video, we'll be discussing 10 common myths about Among Us. Learning to play the game is pretty easy, since there aren't many controls and it's easy to catch on. But many players have strategies and observe certain things to catch the imposter, which makes it difficult for people who don't know much about the game. These 10 myths we picked up will help you pick out the imposter or help you avoid getting caught by crewmates. Before we start, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to see more content like this in the future. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Now, let's get started. Myth number one, venting as the imposter makes noise that crewmates can hear. Venting is a great way to get around the map as an imposter and get away from the body you left. As long as you don't get caught by security cams. If you have vented before, you may have been anxious about the noise it makes when you go in and out of the vents. And some players get scared that crewmates can hear the noise too. But as it turns out, crewmates actually can't hear when an imposter vents no matter how close they are to the vent being used. So the only thing the imposter has to worry about is not getting spotted when venting. Myth number two, pets help you spot the imposter faking tasks. Being able to have a pet is a cool customization feature that Among Us has. They have a variety of pets to use from UFOs to miniature versions of yourself that follow their player around the map. Many players think that pets are just a personalization thing for characters, but some believe that pets are able to give away when an imposter is faking a task. When you do a task and you have a pet, they will move forward every time you start a task. So it's thought if someone's pet doesn't move while they start a task, that they are an imposter faking it. But as it turns out, your pet will only move for you on your screen while starting a task. Or to other people, your pet will stand still regardless if you're actually doing a task or not making this myth false. Myth number three, killing a crewmate in a doorway and closing it will cause it to be unreportable. As an imposter, Among Us gives you many ways to distract and kill crewmates such as venting, sabotaging certain things and areas on the map, and closing doors. These all help the imposter get around the map and make crewmates fall for tricks. Some players think that one way the imposter can use the doors is to shut them on a crewmate's body, so it can't be reported. As it turns out, this is true. A crewmate won't be able to report a body that is in a closed doorway and will have to wait until the door opens to report their fallen crewmate, which is reasonable since logically the body wouldn't be reachable. Myth number four, you can see ghosts do visual tasks. Once an imposter kills you or your crewmates turn on you and vote you out, you become a ghost that can wander through the map. Even though you are dead, you still have to finish your tasks as a crewmate. Many players forget about this or sometimes just rage quit out of the game since they were killed or voted out. Players say that when ghosts are doing tasks, crewmates can see them doing the task and this is true. An example of this is the asteroid task and the weapons on the map scaled. When a ghost does the task, you can see the guns on the outside of the map shooting asteroids. Myth number five, a certain spot on Mirror HQ makes your name invisible. Players often name themselves funny names or just nicknames and they don't have much importance besides maybe helping see someone out of the corner of your eye and having your friends know who you are. Even if your names aren't that important, players have said that on the map Mirror HQ, as soon as you walk down from the starting room and past the green flooring, your name becomes invisible. This is actually true and can even be used to catch the imposter if you and another player stand in the same position to blend in as one character. The imposter will then kill you or your friend thinking it's one person and leaving the survivor to report the body. You just have to make sure your crewmates believe your story over the imposter. Myth number six, you can see vitals to catch the imposter killer crewmates. One of the ways you can spy on players is by checking their vitals on the map polis in a room to the right of the office. The vitals tell you when someone is killed by the imposter, which helps you to be on the lookout for the body, or you can call an emergency meeting since you know a crewmate has been killed. A common myth is that when two players stand by each other, their vital lines are the same. But this myth is not true. When two players stand right next to each other, their vitals are different regardless if they are an imposter or not. 
so checking vitals only help a player know when a crewmate's been killed. Myth number seven, you can always catch the imposter through common tasks. Every map has common tasks that everyone is assigned. An example of this is the swiping card task on the map scaled or fixing wire tasks, which are on every map. These tasks are assigned to everybody in the game. So if you ever want to test if someone is the imposter, you can watch them do the task. And if the completed taskbar doesn't go up, then you know they're faking it. But you won't be able to catch the imposter like this every time since common tasks aren't always assigned to players every game. So if your to-do list doesn't have a common task such as wires, then nobody else in the game has that task either. Myth number eight, you can manually stop crewmates from fixing lights. An imposter being able to sabotage things around the map helps keep crewmates distracted and force them to go where the imposter wants them to. When sabotaging the lights, it leaves crewmates at a huge disadvantage since they can't see everything that's in front of them. But fixing them just takes a crewmate a quick flip of a switch and then the lights are turned back on. But according to some players, an imposter can manually mess with the switches to prevent crewmates from turning the lights on. And this is true. Although when you do this, they'll eventually realize that you're messing with the lights and try to vote you out. So you have to be smart about how and when you mess with the switches. Myth number nine, looking in and out of cams won't show the cameras turn on. The cameras are a great way for crewmates to check around the map and catch the imposter in the act of killing a crewmate or being suspicious. But the downside is that the cameras blink, letting people know that someone is watching on the cams. Although players think there may be a way for the cameras to not blink. A myth going around is that if you quickly look in and out of the cams, then the cameras won't blink. And this is true. You or the other players won't be able to see the cameras blink, although you'll only be able to see in the cameras for a second or so. Myth number 10, the timer for the sample task in Medbay stops during meetings. Besides having to scan your character in Medbay, a player might also get the task to get a sample from Medbay, which requires you to start the task and come back 60 seconds later to finish it. But what happens when a meeting is called? Well, players have said that the timer stops during the meetings. As it turns out, it's actually the opposite. When you finish the meeting, you'll notice that the timer has gone down, or maybe even finished depending on how many seconds you had left for the task before the meeting was called. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notifications every time we upload a video. And if you have any ideas you'd like to see, leave them in the comments below, and your idea might be our next video.